Welcome to the channel. In this video, we will be looking at the Veritas combination plane and comparing it to the Stanley number 45. Stick with me. Here they are side by side. First, I have to give a shout out to the guys that let me borrow these planes because I did not own either of them, but I've been getting a lot of questions as to, you know, what's upgraded on the Stanley, how do they compare, that kind of stuff. The Stanley number 45, my buddy Eric let me borrow it. Eric's actually local to me and he's he's a really cool guy. Like he's just awesome. I enjoy hanging out with him. So thank you, Eric. I appreciate you. Eric is also one of the moderators in my Discord group called The Cave. The Veritas combination plane, my buddy Michael let me borrow. Michael is actually the moderator for my Veritas Tool Nerds group, and he's awesome also. So Michael sent me about $1,500 worth of tools to do videos and comparisons, and he trusted me to send them back, which might not have been a good choice. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Michael, you'll get them back. I truly appreciate both of you guys for letting me borrow these planes and do these videos with them. All right, let's get some of the stats out of the way. So the Veritas comes in, at three pounds, 11 ounces. The Stanley comes in at four pounds, 12 ounces. Now on that note, the Veritas is made out of ductile iron. So it is pretty light and it's pretty well balanced. I mean, if you're holding it right here, you're balanced. That feels very comfortable in use. The Stanley is made out of cast iron and it is very forward and right here, it is very heavy. So when you're holding it, it still feels heavy. It still feels a little unwieldy because it's just big and heavy and has lots of parts. Um, some people hold the knob, but I, I feel like the knob is really high up. So just ergonomically and weight wise, the Veritas is a lot more balanced, a lot lighter. And that's like, again, a whole pound difference. So that's something to keep in mind right off the bat. The length of the body. So I'm just going by this right here. And then on the Stanley, this right, oop, it goes all the way up here. That right there, okay? So for the Veritas, that comes in at seven and 15 sixteenths. For the Stanley, it comes in at nine and seven eighths. Now, I don't think you need that extra length on the combination plane. I feel like that's a little bit of an overkill. You don't need that much of a reference area. I, it might be a preference thing. It, re, it really might be, but I think that Veritas making it smaller is a benefit because again, it's easier to use. It's more compact and it's not as unwieldy. Price-wise, this is where it gets pretty difficult. So we'll start with the Veritas. The Veritas is $439 and it comes with one iron. The Stanley. So about six months ago, there was, I don't know who, I don't remember who did the video, but somebody did a video on the 45s and the prices skyrocketed. They got so expensive and the prices are just now starting to come down because that fat is over. So I guess you can say the price for the Stanley would be anywhere from 100 to 400, depending on how many cutters, if it comes with a box, what condition it's in, is it missing any pieces, is it completely complete? It varies. It's a very, very wide range. To talk about the cutters for a little bit here, Veritas has a ton of different cutters that you buy like separately. So like you buy the beading irons, the fluting irons, the plow irons, that kind of stuff. Stanley's, they did sell them as box sets. However, a lot of people are actually buying box sets and then taking the irons out and selling those individually. And they can get very expensive. If you have a Stanley combination plane, the Veritas cutters fit in the Stanley plane. The only thing you have to be mindful of is on certain types of Stanley planes, I don't know that, I don't remember what the types are, but on certain types, the depth adjust up here, that nib is too big for the Veritas iron. So you would need to modify it a little bit, but they fit in the plane, depending on your type is basically what I'm trying to get to. So if you find a Stanley combination plane for cheap, and you need irons or you have one already, the Veritas irons will fit it, maybe with some modification. The Stanley irons do fit the Veritas combination plane. So if you buy the Veritas combination plane and find the Stanley irons for cheap, go for it. So I have the planes all taken apart and we're gonna start looking at each individual piece. 
I took them apart ahead of time because if you guys are familiar with any kind of plow planes or planes that like ride along these rods, when you get to the end of it, sometimes you have to like shimmy the part off. When you're in here, they both slide well. You just have to make sure that you put some wax on these. But when you get to the end, that's when you sometimes have to like <laughs> scoot this like this to take it off. And I didn't want to put you guys through that. So let's start looking at these individually so you can see the differences. I also want to point out that Eric's plane is in really good shape. So this is like an ideal looking 45, in my opinion. <laughs> Here's the Stanley fence. Veritas. So the biggest difference you're going to notice right away is that these are brass screws. So these right here is how you tighten and loosen it against the rods. These right here, I think, are steel thumb screws. They both do have a micro adjust. So what you do is you loosen this here, micro adjust like that. For the Veritas, I like this. I just feel like it's more secure that it has two. So you loosen these two and then micro adjust. But it's actually reverse thread. I didn't notice that until now. So righty tighty is actually bringing the fence closer. Lefty loosey is pushing the fence out. I feel like the threads on the Veritas are smaller, so you can really micro adjust. But when you get to the Stanley, I feel like the threads are bigger. So like the same turn takes it farther. The Stanley has a knob. A lot of people, when they're using the plane, they don't even hold the knob. A lot of that is just because the knob is so high when you have it on the plane. And it, again, is very forward heavy. So they'll actually hold onto the fence down here, wrap it around like that. So Veritas caught onto that cue and said, you don't need one. You don't need that knob because most people are going to hold right here anyways. So those are the fences. Here are the two skates, and this is also where you're going to see a difference in the length. So I can give you a side by side so you can see how different that is. We'll put it about that looks close enough so you can see how much of a difference there is here. Now, again, I don't think that's necessary for a combination plane because it's not like a jointer plane where you need that reference area. So I do like that Veritas made it smaller because it is just easier to use. <laughs> So let's look at the Stanley. Veritas. All right, so as you can see, they both have the tapered skate, which means this taper is right here. They use that for beading and I think fluting. If you don't have it tapered, then you can't do beads with it because the way that it would ride in the sides of the bead while you're cutting, they both have that taper. I am not sure if all of the Stanley types of combination planes have that taper or not. You can let me know down below. For the Stanley, there is an additional, there's two different depth stops that can go with this plane. So you have the long one right here, and then you have a short one here that go into this part. So it can have two depth stops, but this one is not micro adjusted. So this one is just, you put the depth stop in there, you tighten it down with that screw right there. The Veritas is micro adjusted. So you loosen this and then see that. You can micro adjust it where you want it, tighten it down. One thing that I like, notice where this depth stop is and where this one is then where this rod hole is versus that one. So Veritas took it and flipped them. See that? So the fence, the depth stop would be here with the rod. Veritas, it's backwards. I like that because while this is in the plane, the two depth stops line up. And the Stanley, they're off center. And I don't like that as much. It might be a preference thing, but I feel like it's more stable if they line up because you're connecting at the same time. You're making contact at the same time. So I like that they changed that around. Again, we are seeing that these are the brass thumb screws for everything versus, well, these are, you let me know down below which one's called a thumb screw because I thought these were some thumb screws and these, I don't know what they're called, but I'm going to call them thumb screws too, but you can see they're different. These are flat. These are round. There. <laughs> the next thing is for the knickers. So this is called a knicker. 
And what it does is when you are cutting across grain, this creates a score in the grain in front of the cutter, which would be right here, so you don't tear it out. There's one on this and there's one on the body of the plane. So there's a knicker on both sides of the cutter when you're going, making your cuts, specifically cross grain. For Veritas, it's a point, which is technically a slitter, not a knicker. Knickers are usually pieces like that. Slitters are like that, which is for the Stanley, it looks like this, but it's not used the same. I'll show you that in a little bit. So I like that they made this basically like a marking knife because you can take it out and sharpen it. So this is adjusted back here, which they give you an Allen key. This Allen key is the same one that they use on their custom line of planes. So if you already have a custom, you have an extra Allen key now. So you would loosen it here to be able to scoot it down. If I can, there we go. So scoot it down so it's making contact. You have another one here that adjusts how far the point of this protrudes from the plane or how closely it protrudes. We'll get into that when I show you how to actually use this plane. Let me put this knicker away. There we go. I didn't want to push it with my finger. <laughs> there we go. And with the Stanley, you have to use a small screwdriver. Basically, like try to shimmy this out of there, scoot it around, and then tighten it back down. So I love that this is just an easier adjustment. And I love that it's a, a point like a marking knife. So to me, that's a huge improvement. Also, the fact that they flip these two, that's an improvement to me as well. All right, I forgot to mention this piece right here. So this is actually what I call a skate stop. So when you use a combination plane, the edge of this skate, the both of them are supposed to line up with the edges of the iron. So what this does is it allows you to basically micro adjust how close that skate is to the edge of the iron. That's this piece right here, because what it does is this bumps up against the edge of the iron when it's assembled in the plane. I will show you how to use this in the next video. It's going to be how to use this plane. The Stanley doesn't have anything like this, so I really like this addition. Both planes can have short and long rods. Now, for the short rods, line them up there. The Veritas come in at five inches. The Stanley come in at four and three eighths, so just a little bit shorter. For the long rods, they are very close. So the Veritas comes in at eight and the Stanley comes in at eight and five sixteenths. Diameter is different. So you cannot use these rods interchangeably. I also don't know if across the, excuse me, across the Stanley types, if the diameter is different. But for the Veritas, they're about five sixteenths and for the Stanley, they're about three eighths. All right, so here are the different bodies and this is where you're going to see quite a bit a variation and, and I guess the biggest differences would be on this right here. So let's look at the Stanley. Fair toss. Yeah, so as you can see they're 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 pretty different here. Uh Veritas simplified it because uh, all of this back here, I never understood what it was for. <laughs> if you have a Veritas combination, or excuse me, if you have the Stanley number 45, let us know what you use this back end for, because I know that this connects in there and there's a depth stop and stuff back here, but I never understood what it was for because your cutter's up here. So they have all of this stuff going on back here and I, I never understood why. So Veritas eliminated that. And I agree with it because, again, I never understood it. If you know, let me know down below. You can yell at me down below if you know what it's for and you love it or whatever. Now, Stanley did do the micro-adjust fence here. However, this right here is you need a screwdriver to adjust that. So you would need to take a screwdriver, loosen that, and then you would have your micro-adjust, which... There's quite a bit of play in there. There's not as much play when it comes to the Veritas. See that? So for theirs, tighten that down or loosen it. Micro adjust. Tighten it back down. You're good to go. Stanley, loosen the screw. Adjust this where you want it. Get your screwdriver back out. Tighten it down. So I love that they turned this into a thumb screw versus a screwdriver. Now, 
I love that Stanley, I don't know if it was Stanley that came up with this idea, but this is a really unique blade lock in here. So there's a screw there, a, a wing nut here that you loosen. And what that does is it controls this piece back here that tightens and loosens your iron. So if you tighten it down, that's locking the blade. If you loosen it, it loosens the blade because it comes out. So it's it's really kind of a, a unique piece of machinery or a, a, um, machining. The machining on this, I feel is pretty advanced for the time when they were making these. I'm not sure if all the Stanley types have them, but that was a pretty unique feature that you tighten it down and this rod slides in, you loosen it up and see the rod coming out right there. So you can take your iron out. So it's, it's pretty neat. But there's a lot of moving parts in there <laughs> and it's, it's kind of unnecessary now with the machining we have now. So what Veritas did is they improved that. So I am showing my noob side to YouTube um, while I was recording my phone rang and then I moved everything around so I can't just make it look like a seamless cut like I was talking. So sorry um, if you're going to start recording YouTube videos, turn the volume on your phone off and then don't move anything around when you stop hitting record. <laughs> so. What Veritas improved is they actually turned this into a cap. So let me show you that. I'll loosen it here. And there you go. So it's what I call like a legit cap. A twist cap. What do they call those? It's not a snap cap. Screw cap. So they actually turned it into a screw cap. And I feel like that holds it a lot more securely than that Stanley thing on the side. Not saying the iron's going to slip because that's holding it in place. But you know what I mean. The other thing that they did. So this can be a 45 combination plane. Or if you have this brass screw in there, it's a plow plane. When this is installed, you only need the one skate and then your fence and you can use it like a plow plane. So I love that they involved that because this plane is already so universal, but now you can also use it as, as a plow plane. If you're going to use it as a combination plane, you have to take this out. Meaning if you're going to use the other skate, this has to come out because it interferes with the skate in here somewhere. So let me show you. This is the piece I was talking about that'll bump against the iron to help micro adjust the edge of the skate to the edge of the iron. So you'll see that right here. So pay attention to the next video because in the next video, I'm going to show you kind of more in detail how these two things work together and how it can be a plow plane, how it can be a combination plane, etc. But I just love that Veritas added these two features alone. Next, I'm gonna look at the depth adjust. So I took the irons out of the plane. For the Stanley, it's this right here, but it's this little tiny nib that I'm always worried that that nib's gonna break and there's play in it. So that right there is, is backlash. And I don't know any way to fix that on a combination plane because there's like nothing else that you can tighten down other than tightening this to try to clamp the iron down in more. But there's a lot of play in this. I've also seen it very common where these break, the nib breaks. This is usually locked up. He kept, his is in really good shape, but normally it's locked off, broken, missing, that's broken, that kind of stuff. So Veritas, they made it like their block planes, their low angle planes where it has this, where there's no play up and down and it turns really easily. So while you're holding the, my hands are small, so I, sorry, I'm not flipping you guys off. I have to use my middle finger to adjust it. So I love this upgrade. It just feels more secure. It's smoother to use and there's no play. This is just a difference between the slitter and the knicker again and something that I noticed and didn't really think about before. But see this knicker and how close it is to the mouth, this slitter and how close it is to the mouth. In theory, you can tell me if I'm wrong down below. In theory, I like that this is farther towards the front of the plane because you can put more pressure at the front of the plane and have it create a better score line versus it being so close to the iron that if you're putting pressure down, pressure is going to the iron and the knicker. Let me know your thoughts on that down below because that's not something that I've tested out before. Next thing we're looking at is the tote or the handle. I'm actually not sure if it's called a tote on a plow plane. Y'all can let me know down below. So for the Veritas, I'm going to do the measurements from the longer parts and then into the shorter parts. So. The longer parts for the Veritas, it comes in at five inches. For the Stanley, it comes in at four and three eighths. 
the shorter parts for the Stanley comes in at three inches and the Veritas comes in at four inches. So Stanley made this handle a lot bigger and it's a lot more comfortable to me versus this. Now I have small hands and you might say that this looks okay, but it's still, I'm feeling it up here. I'm feeling it down here. Because this is open handle, you don't feel it. It feels like you're just using a hand plane. So I really like that they changed that to a more open handle and a more ergonomic design, in my opinion. So adjusting the rods on the body, the Stanley is a flat head screw and the Veritas is these thumb screws. For both of these planes, the fence can be moved from the right-handed orientation to the left-handed orientation, which means you just take this and put it on the other side. For the Stanley, the only thing I want to point out is when you do that, this knob is in the back which feels kind of comfortable, but you need a little bit more in the front. So there's not much to hold on to here, um, unless you still use it right-handed, I guess. But yeah, I just wanted to point that out, that you can move the fence to the other side. It's just knobs back here. So there we go. I hope this helped you make you just... So there we go. I hope this helped make you... <laughs> helped you make a decision. So there we go. I hope this helped make you a <laughs> what? <laughs> I hope this helped you. So there we go. I hope this helped you make a decision just to give you a brief rundown on it of it. <laughs> yeah, so after that I said my brain is done. I can't think anymore. I needed a break. So here I am in a different shirt. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you make a decision just to kind of go over what Veritas upgraded. I really like that they made this a cap. I really like that they upgraded the depth adjust, that there's no play in it. I like that they made the tote bigger so you're not getting pinched down here and pinched up here. I like that they made this micro adjust on both of them. So both of these depth stops are micro adjust. I really like that they flipped this. Please let me know down below what you think about that because to me, I like the idea of being able to put more pressure in the front to get a better score mark. I don't know if it makes that big of a difference, but like the way that I'm thinking about it is it helps. It, it makes it better versus it being real close to the iron. They made it shorter and lighter and they made it out of ductile iron, which is awesome because if you drop it on the floor, it's not supposed to break. I like that they changed the screws for, or excuse me, the screws on the body. I like that they made these thumb screws because when I use a combination plane, I like just taking this off. If I'm going to be changing out the blade and stuff like that, instead of taking off the fence, taking off the skate to access the blade, I like being able to just take this off. And with the 45, you got to use a screwdriver to do that. So I just like that they upgraded these into brass thumb screws, which I am 99% sure that's what they're going to call them, but absolutely feel free to yell at me down below. It might have just been a brain fart, but I'm not cutting it out because I'm keeping it real. <laughs> so yes, if you guys have any questions, any comments, anything like that, feel free to let us know down below. Keep an eye out for the next video. I'm actually going to be working on it tonight. It is going to be how to use this plane because I know there are a lot of moving parts, but as you saw, this plane can do a lot. So just take the time to learn it and be patient. So keep an eye out for that like and subscribe thing and have a good day.